It's the kind of place history buffs daydream about, where pioneer life, although slightly weathered and tilted, seems to have stood still. An infatuation with the Wild West brought Robert Pamplin Jr. to Shanico nine years ago. The Portland media mogul bought and restored the century-old Shanico Hotel and Cafe, the RV park, and historic wool barn, then paid to fix up other buildings, this hoping to preserve and capitalize on Shanico's historic significance as a once thriving railroad hub. It was Oregon's inland wool shipping capital of the world. Be neat to see it if it could get back to that. But the opportunity of a future as vibrant as the past now up for sale. The fallout of a battle with a millionaire accustomed to buying what he wants. And he says, if you don't want me here, I'm gone. And by God, I don't blame him. And I'm getting kind of tired of talking about the man. He's done nothing but bad here, and he can go on his way now. At the center of this town spat, nothing new. History books will tell you in the West, it is always about water. Pamplin needed it for his hotel and to expand the town. So Pamplin dug this well just outside of town, and boy, did he find it. 250 gallons of water a minute came gushing. Oh, he found water, lots of water. In a town that relies on fragile spring water, Richard Roberts, the mayor's husband, says that's like finding gold. Yeah, that's a lot of water when you consider we're getting maybe 15 gallons a minute. We didn't anticipate finding that much water. Floyd Ayler oversees Pamplin's farm properties and speaks on this issue when Pamplin won't. To get that water from the well to the hotel, Pamplin requested an easement from the city. For that, the state recommended the water serve the rest of the town too. The tentative deal? Give them the water and we would buy the water back. The hitch? He wanted to build some houses and there were some people didn't want to see the new houses that he was going to build, you know, next to their property and blah, 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 you know how that goes. We never had a housing plan. There was never a development plan. It was only a concept. But worry over the impact on other pending water projects, the views and historic district designation changed the minds of some on the council. And April Pitry, who runs a gallery and candy shop in a building Pamplin helped restore. She says Pamplin should have had permission before he drilled within city limits. He wanted his own private water system and we couldn't by law give it to him. Oregon said no. And so we were willing to keep negotiating with him and he decided to stop negotiations. We were dealing with folks that one day would tell you one thing, the next day they were uh, totally opposite. Pamplin quickly capped the well, closed the hotel, and put it up for sale. Business at Goldie's Ice Cream Parlor since then. I'm not going to say that it's great because it's not, but it's, it's tolerable. 85 cents. I would like to see him come back. He's washed his hands. Uh, he's lost confidence in the people. We don't need you to own our town, own our water. We don't need that. We can do it ourselves. Yes, we may not have been running this city the way he thought we should be, but the city's been running without him for a long time. And it may have to continue without its most prominent properties. At $3.1 million and with its new political history, it will take an ambitious buyer. In Shanico, Anita Cassay, K2 News.